What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the Sierra pickup truck yet again. I feel like I've made like 70 videos on this truck and it's never gonna be finished, but regardless, we're gonna work on it again today. In the last video I talked about the mirrors and how why I didn't put them on. Um, so we're gonna put them on today. The reason I didn't, and if you didn't catch that last video, I'll link it up above here, but the reason I didn't is because they are catching all the bugs when you're driving down the road. So I just didn't want uh, to put them on yet. I wanted to give them a little more cure time before I put them on. So today we're gonna to put the mirrors on. We are also gonna put a shorter antenna on because frankly the factory antenna looks absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna be replacing that factory antenna and we are going to replace a switch on the inside. So the headlight switch randomly when I'm driving down the road at night it uh, all the lights in the truck go dim or could turn completely off. The headlights stay on, but the interior lights all go down. So I can tap on that switch and everything comes back on. So I'm gonna replace that switch as well as putting another switch in and I'll show you that uh, today. So let's get started on the mirrors. Now when I said take the door panel off, you really don't have to take the entire door panel off, just this little triangle piece up top. to the antenna and this tool that all of you guys have been asking about. Um, it comes with the new GM antenna. If you buy a new one from GM, I used to work at a dealership. That's where I got it. Um, I'm trying to find these guys so I can sell them, um, but who knows? I don't know if I'll be able to find them or not. Anyway, we're going to use this tool to take the old antenna off and then we'll put the new one on. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, sometimes I'll be driving down the road and all the lights in the dash will go off. And this is not lit up like it's supposed to be. So if I just hit this, like tap it, all my lights come back on and randomly this will come on. So there's a short in this switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Ordered one off Amazon. I will list the part down below. Uh, while I'm doing that though, I also got a new switch here and the reason I did is because I'm going to be adding fog lights in a future video so I'm going to go ahead and put the switch in now it, it's already wired all the wiring for the actual fog lights is under the hood so we're going to go ahead and plug the switch in while we've got all this apart so let's pull this dash apart get these old switches out it is crazy dirty in here so I'm going to clean this while I'm doing it but uh, all, the, all you have to do is there's a couple tabs here to pull this switch out and uh, we'll get it out of the way and get the new one in. all cleaned up or well, at least it looks a little better anyway but uh, you can hardly tell this thing was driven down a dirt road by all the rock chips and one of the previous videos and and then looking at all the dust in here but anyway we uh, got the new switch like I said it has the fog light um, plug on it all you have to do is plug it in like I said it's pre-wired from the factory it's just not wired under the hood which we will cover in a future video uh, once you get that plugged in make sure it's plugged in nice and good and uh, just shove it in there 
that's in. Same thing with the um, other switch. And like I said, guys, I'll list this a link to this stuff down below, but plug this in and uh, we're good to go. Well, we're all finished up, so let's take a look around the truck. Absolutely come a long way with this truck. I'll post a picture here of when we started. Now we're not by any means finished with this truck, but we are getting closer to the end or at least finding an end point. So uh, hopefully you guys have liked this content. I still would like to put the fog lights in and I will obviously post a video when I do that because it is going to require some wiring. But we did install the switch today, so that part's finished. And uh, I just figured while we were putting the dash switch or the light switch in I might as well put that in while I'm in there so I don't have to take it apart twice but anyway guys if you like this video please go down and smash that thumbs up button if you're not subscribed please go down and subscribe if you'd like to hit the bell icon that way you're notified every time I drop a new video and uh, well if you have any comments please post them down below if you want to see anything on this truck any of the other cars that I've got please post down below and uh, well stay tuned to see what we do next